So I'm here with my Supra and on my last video you may have noticed uh, I was having quite a hard time with it and um, everything kept going wrong. This car and I just aren't communicating well. We're not on the same wavelengths. Uh, this is how I broke up with women in high school. Uh, so I found the perfect solution to this Toyota Supra and that's to pass along all of the issues to someone else. and. That's why I'm here in Florida, and uh, that's why he's here laughing. Hello. Uh, Hi. So uh, the the sound you hear right right there is a uh, very very bad vacuum cleaner, but uh, disregard that because we have a very very good Supra uh, behind us now. You have told me that this comes with a, a unlimited mile bumper to bumper warranty, but the bumpers aren't here. Yeah. So that's a loophole yeah. in that. Um, yeah. The, if the bumpers the, aren't on the car, the car doesn't cover. It. Anything, it's right? similar to a taillight warranty. Okay. So no taillights, no warranty. Well, <laughs> it, anyways, um, <laughs> so uh, my friend Jack here uh, was, <laughs> he has been, ever since I met him, he's been after a Supra and I so happen to, luckily somehow, uh, I have a lot of Irish in me maybe, I don't know. Uh, I find a lot of Supras that are pretty rough, and he's been after one for a couple years, and actually we had a very long talk about him buying this car, but I, this is very rare, I told him to not buy it, uh, because it was not a very good financial, uh, you know, situation to buy this car and try to make it whole again, that's why I personally was wanting to make it a drift car. He so happened to have a 911 turbo engine. Yes. Uh, not, well, not just any 911 turbo engine. So I had a 996 uh, turbo engine that was modified quite a bit. It's a 4.2 liter stroker, had uh, custom crank, pistons, rods, everything you need to make north of a thousand horsepower. And it's, uh, plus the brand new turbos made by BNR Supercar. Well, I had this engine just sitting here and as luck would have it, I mean, I guess maybe I'm Irish as well, uh, that, you know, I said, hey, uh, would you like to buy this engine? And you're like, oh, the engine would be really cool, but I'm not in the financial situation. And I'm like, well, do you have anything to trade? And I was like, I heard you had a Supra. And you're like, yeah, I always got a Supra. <laughs> so then, you know, our, our paths crossed like, like this, you know, you, you brought this wonderful thing to my shop and it, it just looks, it looks fantastic. It is the best looking Supra you can get. Uh, that looks like the worst looking Supra you can get. Um, <laughs> it does have a clean title. You did tell me that like seven or eight times. I, I did tell you though. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. Did I tell you on the phone? I don't know. I don't know. Is that, well, which one is legally binding? Uh, it's your car now. Okay. Okay, cool. <laughs> well, well the, I mean, the thing is, it's, it, it isn't my car. This actually might be the shortest Supra ownership in history. Yeah. So Freddie owned the car. We shook hands. Um, I did a few one wheel peel donuts. If you want to see those, go over to Two Varish mm -hmm. and check those out. And about, I don't know, four minutes later, mm -hmm. this Supra ended up being gifted to Jack. Yeah. So I am a leprechaun hunter. And <laughs> I found the pot of gold. Um, it's got a little poop on it, but it's cool. It's all right. It's a little rusty. <laughs> this is. It's a little rusty of a pot, to be yeah, honest with you. Yeah, this is good. It's good. It's good. You just got to dig down deep. Yeah. You got to really just dig down deep. <laughs> then you see the goodness. It's in there, I swear. Oh. So I'm, I'm sorry that I'm not fixing this car, but I can assure you it's in better hands than when it was in my hands. If you see Jack's Evo, you'll understand that this is about to be a um, six digit figure Supra when he is done with it. Yen. Not, yes, not six yen. digit yen. Uh -huh. yen when he's done. Yeah. No, seriously, this is gonna be <laughs> astronomical. It's gonna be beautiful. And um, we're all getting what we want out of this. Uh, every time he says a thousand horsepower uh, <laughs> Porsche engine, my leg gets a little, yeah. a little shaky. Yeah. Yes, I'm excited! And I just so happen to have a 996 Turbo that I have not introduced you guys to yet, but you will see more of that car soon. It's a absolute cream puff. I do own one vehicle that is not um, this. A, <laughs> that is not a turd. That's not a turd. Um, yeah, yeah. This is this is the turd edition. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. needed one nice vehicle. Um, 
you know, life gets hard when you're constantly fighting broken cars. So that's where my Porsche 996 came in that I never wanted to modify or anything. So that's why we have a thousand horsepower engine now going into it because I love to punish myself. We should go, uh, we should bring the engine here outside so you can take a good look at it in the sunshine. Yes, let's do that. Yeah, I think I just came up with a tag name. What? Turd. <laughs> <laughs> lines everyone welds so these cars um, sometimes are susceptible to uh, the coolant lines coming apart uh, because and it's it's a really actually low percentage of, of these engines um, that's usually only when you do things like take them on a track or, or whatever but even then it's still a low percentage but I'll tell you what it is yeah maybe, maybe like right right here so these right this is a coolant line uh, the fitting in here will detach from inside. So what you do is you drill this, you tap it, and you put like a little, um, you could put a screw or something in there. Okay. And yeah, like a, just pin it. You have to do this for like six fittings or something around the engine. Uh, so that'll be a fun project for you. Also, the previous owner ran this on, uh, ran the coolant apparently just on water. Uh, so probably good to flush that out. It's not rusty or anything. There's no, you know, there's no steel in there, but it's probably good to flush all that I stuff out. I gave you a non-rusted Supra. Uh, well, actually. Questionable. Yes. That's, there's uh, a little, okay. We probably have the same amount of rust in our trades. May, may, maybe, but um, this engine doesn't really have any, any miles on it. I mean, the underside is as clean as you can get for uh, one of these engines. We literally just took this out. Uh, we haven't touched anything. It has upgraded injectors. Um, it has a different fuel rail. So the six-speed, instead of having a regular uh, slave cylinder for the clutch, um, it has like this damper, like this giant damper on the transmission. But you can get rid of that. Um, so you, you can actually have like some pedal feel because that My, pedal feel is real weird, it's isn't it? It's very weird. Yes. I was wondering why. I always hear Porsche people talking about the, the clutch pedal mod. Yes. And I'm like... That's what this I is. I have so, stalled so, mine out a couple times because I'm like, what is with this clutch? Yeah, so this is, these are air lines and, uh, and breather lines for that system. So you can, so these, this one isn't even, this isn't connected to anything, uh, which is good because you, you want to delete all that. I mean, it has, like a few things have been simplified, but, you know, it still has all the uh, vacuum lines that you'd need, all the sensors work. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's really quite easy. It's, it's tough to put in. Uh, from a space perspective uh, because it's really really tight but once you're in there I mean you connect these two that's all the wiring that this engine has uh, there's four bolts one two um, and two more on the transmission and and then you do up the exhaust and the engine in the car like it's really really quite easy I need some easy in my life yeah when you get in here you don't have a ton of room to work right and you're having to, to do all this stuff that that part is hard it's very tight but yeah small hands so yeah. you know i'm curious to how many people think that i'm an idiot and i'm curious to how many people think he's an idiot for this trade because this is a 50 50 quite a very interesting trade and um i feel like everyone's going to be heavily one side or the other yeah on uh which one of us uh blew it here but after talking to him we're both kind of in the same position mm -hmm. with these piles of metal as some would call them Mm -hmm. So it makes sense, and you know, I can just put this in my 996 Turbo, or I had some crazy ideas after consuming 100 milligrams of caffeine on the way down mm -hmm. about maybe swapping this into another 911 and possibly trying to make another drift car because uh, wow. why not? But for drift cars, don't you need there to be like weight transfer at some point? Right, because if all the weight is literally behind the rear axle, how does that work? I feel like there's a way to make this work, and Chelsea Denofa, we all know, has been heavily experimenting with this, and it looks like he's having a lot of success. Mm -hmm. So I'll get back with you on yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't you know figured, the answer. You figured that out, my friend. I mean, but it's... it will either work very well or is not going to work at all. I think uh, your 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 best bet, you know, in my mind is the reverse staggered wheels you know you have skinnies in the back and fats in the front 
you know? So you got the grip, you got mechanical grip when you need right. it, and the, the back end is just like... So I did attempt to drift my 996 at Mid Pond, mm -hmm. and it's just got the boost turned up and some springs on it. Um, it has all the grip. As it soon as it kicks out, it just bites and goes, and that's probably roughly just under 500 horse. Yes. I'm hoping with this, it just blows the tires off. Or it just, it, like, your head comes off. Like, that, that, that's it. <laughs> it might snap. It just snaps your neck and your head comes yeah, off your body. You'll need, like, a reverse Hans to, like, hold uh, yourself up, you know? Like, yeah. uh, that would be amazing. <laughs> you I'm need a ratchet strap yeah. your, your head to the steering wheel. It might be way too much grip. Mm -hmm. uh, there's There would be a lot of R&D if I go that route. So, yeah, again, this is all new to me as well, so we'll figure this out together. Um, but we'll probably go through this engine because it's very expensive internals here and I would like to um, keep them happy so I might have a friend double check all the tolerances and everything. You just, should, absolutely. Uh, just to play it safe. So just so you know, um, what, what I've been told about this engine is that uh, the person that did all the work spent upwards of $100,000 on this build. Um, so I don't know if that's I don't know if that's true. <laughs> this is just what's been told to me. I mean, um, Porsche people, I wouldn't put it past them. Yeah, I mean, just the parts alone were like forty grand. Um, the that's parts about that, what I spent on this Supra. Yeah, yeah, it, it shows. Uh, so <laughs> it's um, you know this is probably I mean you don't really see four point two liter strokers. No, that, that is at the limit of what you can actually put in this uh, sort of configuration. So I'm. I'm really curious to see. I mean, hopefully there's nothing wrong internally. And if there is, I will I will absolutely make it right. You know, I'll send you uh, the spare tires or something so you can sell them. Yeah, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know. Just uh, send me a... Oh, no, Jack heard that. Just no. send me the climate control back and I'll sell it for what this engine okay. is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. That climate control is worth a lot of money. Um, uh, I'll tell Jack it got lost in the mail. Yeah, know? yeah. yeah. Uh, something happened. <laughs> oh, you he heard that too. Oh, yeah, he, he, uh, he hears everything. He has good hearing. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, but this uh, this engine should be really, really cool. I did see it run. Uh, it belonged to one of my friends. And uh, the only reason that he parked it is because one of the turbos blew. Um, and we had both the turbos redone. They're completely new turbos. Well, this is going to be a huge, huge learning experience for me. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm always down to try new things. Um, I've I have not mastered anything yet, but I've neither have I. <laughs> I've uh, I would like to uh, dip my toes into the Porsche waters a little deeper. You are you are jumping butt first into <laughs> this thing. You're not dipping your toes into nothing. This is this is as custom as you can get, and I'm so happy that you're getting it. Well, thank you. I'm I'm absolutely stoked. I just can't wait to dig into it because I have not get, gotten to dig into one of these engines. It's usually always just Japanese engines, so it'll be fun to divulge into some German engineering. Well, uh, if anybody that is watching this isn't subscribed to this channel, then you definitely should. Uh, it's called a call to action. You know, you definitely should do that because um, he has a lot of work to do, a lot of really cool projects. I can't wait to see this. I'm going to be subscribed, so uh, please join me in subscribing and liking this man's videos. He's awesome. I appreciate it, sir. And, Absolutely. Um, it's 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 it's, it's, ja done. it's Jack's car. It's yeah, Jack's he's he's car. already in there. Oh what are you doing? God. What are you what are you doing? He's already modifying it. He's already <laughs> yeah. He, he's, he's oh man. <laughs> he's looking at the parts. I I kind of feel bad for Jack. Um. I don't don't feel bad for him. Don't feel bad for him. He just got a new car. Okay. Yeah. He's happy. I'm really happy for him. You can see his Evo in the background Super and plain. um. Not that he needs my little channel here feeding people him, but if you check out Jack's Jack builds it on here, you can see a complete restoration of that Evo. And again, if he does one percent of what he did to that car to that car, it'll be better than it is now. Yeah, yeah, or point five. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, so, honestly, anyways, yeah. thanks for tuning in, and uh, I'll catch you on the next video. And we're gonna dig into some other really cool projects. I can't wait to share with you guys. Bye bye.